Hi, this is Karen with Access to Tanzania and Trex to Rwanda. Today, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about one of the most common questions we're asked when people begin planning. When to go? Well, it's not an easy question to answer. There's a lot of variables that we think about, but let's look at some of them right now. So um, top three things we think about when making recommendations of when somebody should go are wildlife goals, cost or budget, and seasons. Wildlife goals. Well, this is number one. Um, truth be known, Tanzania and Rwanda could be visited anytime during the year and you could have a beautiful experience if your goals with regards to wildlife is more broad-based in general. However, many people do come to us with really specific punch lists of, of wildlife that they want to see, and perhaps even um, moments in the wildlife cycle that they want to see, in particular with the wildebeest migration uh, and their life cycle, river crossings or the birthings. And so even though you can see the wildebeest year round in the Serengeti, you might want to see a specific moment in their life cycle. And so we have to think about when that happens and where that happens. And with Rwanda and the gorilla trekking, we also need to be mindful of when are the better trekking seasons? It tends to be better when it's a bit drier. You're in rainforest. And so obviously it's going to be wet no matter what, but if we can make it a more comfortable trekking experience and make those recommendations, then that's what we'll do. Next is cost or budget. And so between the different seasons, uh, there can be quite a bit of variation in cost for even the same schedule. And so even if somebody is on a restricted budget or just trying to be economical, we can uh, compare and contrast the difference of how much does a trip cost in this month versus that month. And some helpful hints that I'll share with you right now is that since we only do private and customized travel, your group size also impacts cost. So more people in a car, the lower the price. So just something to, to know. And also, um, because we only do private and custom travel, we just want to encourage you to know that we are very sensitive and respectful of when guests tell us their budget ranges, and we really work to design something that will work for you to help meet those goals. And lastly is, is the seasons. And, and what are the seasons in Tanzania and Rwanda? They actually align quite closely in terms of when are the, the, the dry seasons and the rainy seasons. And so here we have June to October, mid-December through February are high seasons and therefore they're priced higher and tend to have more people traveling at that time. Shoulder seasons are March and then November to mid-December. There's a slight price reduction, not quite as low as low season, which is April and May, or also known as green season, which also it's a lower price and even fewer people might be traveling. So if any one of those um, facets of seasonality resonates with you, I prefer to not have as many people and I'm very price sensitive, you might very well choose maybe March or April or May or something like that to maybe get the best value for what you're looking for. So taken together, I would say that um, there are three questions that every operator should ask you when they're trying to help you assess when should you go. They should be asking you, what are your wildlife viewing or activity goals? Do you have a specific time that you must travel or are your dates flexible? And lastly, what is your budget in relation to the style and comfort levels you're seeking? And all that taken together can help us make the best recommendations for you of when you should go. So thank you so much for just taking this time to watch our video. We hope that we get to work with you in designing your Tanzania or Rwandan safari adventure. Thanks so much.